no one thought we could win Georgia. We knew we could. And look, we have a senator in his 30s who's a Jewish man. We have a black pastor from the South, and they are out there every day. They give me hope, to be honest. To be honest, if only, that was Lauren Groh Wargo, Stacey Abrams' campaign manager from her failed run as governor of Georgia in 2018, who now serves as the CEO of Stacey Abrams' super PAC, Fair Fight Action. And she, like Stacey Abrams, is concerned that the 2020 presidential election has inspired a new wave of activists, populist activists who want to save America, or as Gro Wargo likes to call them, conspiracy theorists. These conspiracy theorists and radical elements of the far right GOP have become mainstream, and they are using these ideas that are both fundamentally rooted in racism to organize their folks at the grassroots level. And they're trying to move people into school board positions as an intentional strategy who are there to question diversity initiatives, question cultural competency in teaching, question and restrain teachers from teaching our true country's history. That is happening all over the country. And those same elements that are funding that are also funding grass tops and grassroots efforts to do similar organizing in local boards of elections. Ah, uh, yes. And we couldn't have anyone who cares about free and fair elections serving on the local boards of elections, now could we? Because they just might reflect the will of the people. And we know what that will is, considering Stacey Abrams and her ilk are in the minority, with only 22% of voters believing it's too hard to vote, while 34% say it's too easy, and 41% say it's about right. 60% believe it's more important to safeguard against cheating than to make it easier to vote. And 62% believe photo ID does not discriminate. Can you imagine what this country would look like if the will of the people was reflected in our governance, in our leadership, as it should be? Joining us now with more on this, former advocate at the U.S. Small Business Administration Office of Advocacy under President Trump, Bruce Lavelle. Bruce, when you see this fight, Stacey Abrams and her people... They are on such a campaign. It wasn't enough to rig Georgia in 2020. They want to rig everything else by 2022. Yeah, and thanks for having me. You know, listen, this is the same old, same old boogeyman card. Let's scare the poor brown people and tell them the big bad boogie Republicans are trying to steal your election. Listen, Natalie, when you said something about voter ID and you saw that high percentage about people saying, yeah, it's fair, 60 plus percent saying a voter ID is valid. I tell you what, I like to go sign for a car and tell the car, hey, let, let's just shake on it, okay? Let, let, look, I am who I am, so just you don't have you don't need a signature. Just let me have the car. And you know that's unrealistic. You can't rent an apartment. You can't get a house. So yeah, you know they always want to use this. But the thing that really troubles me the most, being a civil rights guy here in the South, is they're always trying to say. Oh, it's like Jim Crow, honey. Trust me, I can tell you what Jim Crow is, and it is not this. But they want to use that as the typical playbook of the scare tactics, especially to manipulate the brown community into staying in that troubled party called the Democratic Party. And you know, everyone's talking about 2022 actually making our elections free and fair again by then. But there's municipal elections going on in Georgia in 2021. Yeah. We're going to put up on the screen Raffensperger. Now, he says he's going to investigate, but two Fulton County employees were actually shredding voter applications. They caught them. They're fired. It's been referred to the attorney general. Of course, like Merrick Garland's going to do anything about Fulton County, Raffensperger's not going to do anything about Fulton County. But these shenanigans are already going on on the local level. They're not waiting like last time when they had to find 100,000 votes to beat President Trump's lead. They're starting at the very lowest level doing these down ballot races. Yeah, and you know this interesting on Ratzenberg. He's trying to save his behind, and we all know why. Look, he's the one that went in these contractual agreements with Zuckerberg's quote CTS funding that brought four hundred million dollars across the country, especially in key battleground states, to what? Put some ballot boxes in certain areas, especially in Fulton County and Gwinnett and DeKalb and Clayton, hint, hint, to put them in strategic places, unsupervised, no chain of custody. We all know the story on that. So, yeah, this doesn't surprise me. But watch this, Natalie. In Fulton County, there's over a million residents. Now, this is something that's going down. You heard it from me right here on your show. 
City of Milton is right now getting together where they're going to handle all it, which is north of Fulton, which they're going to handle all of their elections from here on out. They're going through this right now. They're voting on it. They're going to, if you want to run for state house, want to Senate, presidential, whatever, you got to go to the city courthouse where they're at so they can have local control. Watch this key word, Natalie, local control. And this right here, this is a proactive solution. All OAN viewers, listen to this carefully. Go out and encourage your small city hoods to take over your elections process, especially when you're in very large counties like Fulton, DeKalb, that have over millions of residents. So why would you trust all of your millions of precious votes and put it in one little pile? How about break it up? That's why city hoods came, because the voters want local control of police, fire, rescue, you know, their roads, et cetera, their, their zoning permits, et cetera. So by God, Let's do like City of Milton and some other states that are looking at this. Let's reach in and grab control of our precious votes and let the cities, we the people, by the people, govern them accordingly instead of throwing it into a big pot down there that just gets God knows what happens. And we have this story that you're reporting now, Natalie, about stuff that's shredding. So that's the proactive. I just want to share that with you at OAN because I'm excited the fact about local control. And, and they can say whatever they want, but the more control we have, the better it's going to be for all of us. Do you think more cities are going to do that? Because in metro Atlanta area, those counties, whether it's DeKalb County, as you said, so many shenanigans coming out about them from 2020. Fulton County, we're still waiting. The judge is slow walking those cases and Garland Favorito and voter GA's cases in front of him to actually examine the ballots. But so much went on. Do you think these other cities are going to be able to do much before then? Because, of course, Raffensperger says he wants a takeover of Fulton County's elections. They're currently evaluating the situation. But who wants the secretary of state running their elections? He was just as bad, if not worse, than Fulton County. Right. And guess what? The, you know, the unfortunate part of what's been going on, it's bringing a lot of shenanigans to light. You know, there's this is not a secret, especially we're going to pick on Fulton County. There's many other counties similar like this that have always had troubled situations going on. Each administration, every commission board, every civic board, they always kick the can to the next administration. And bam, lo and behold, look what's going on. This right here, outside of anything in the world, will create the biggest, most unfortunate civil unrest if, quote, all Americans, all voting, voting legal American citizens don't roll their sleeves up Get in the get in the get in this game here. Or I saw a game and get in here and get this under control so we can save our republic. This is for all Americans, it's not a Republican, it's not a Democrat thing. You know, I told my Democrat friends now, I said, you know what? I said, this could be you. I said, you're OK with this. You're OK that you went into a ballot box and you walked out scratching your head, wondering if your vote counted. Now, Democrats told me this. So let's do away with that. So, yes, I agree that the unfortunate part of the craziness going on, it's going to spur once again, when there's downfall, there's going to spring more ingenuity. And watch this. you got to remember, Natalie, we're resurrecting America first, America first movement, people that want America first. So, so this many right good candidates. Here, Right exactly. in Georgia, Jody Heiss running for Secretary of State. Yeah. If he could displace yeah. Raffensperger, Herschel replace Walker. him. There's so many. Herschel. Herschel Walker, when you look at it, the fact that Stacey Herschel. Abrams' campaign manager is laughing, saying, oh, can you believe it? We won Georgia. They can't believe they got away with the crime of the century. We uncovered it. We found out what it is. No consequences. Yeah, and guess what? Donald John Trump is still the leader of the America First movement. This right. is not a... Trump thing. This is a true America reformation going on before our very eyes. OEN viewers, everyone watching, go out there, tap your friend, get your neighbors, get involved, join your GOP groups, go in there, be a poll watcher, get involved, get engaged, go to your city council meetings. Every time there's something on, on the roll about voting something or changing something, y'all be there, get there. We're going to get this together because I still believe in America first People, you will resurrect and create a new America, a better America, where there's accountability, right. where my family from the South that marched the Montgomery bus boycotts, that wore suit and ties that you see that that protested so we can go to the ballot box and, and have your right to vote. Exactly. Everyone deserves the right to vote and not have a dead person replace you. Bruce, I wish we weren't coming exactly. up against a hard break. God bless you. Keep fighting for Georgia. Yeah, thanks for having me. Natalie. Good to see God you. Bless you.